Good morning, everybody, from here at St. Paul's Church to wherever you are watching from. This is the season of Lent, and today I am looking at the Stations of the Cross in St. Paul's Church. Each of these stations was individually sewn by a group of ladies who came together for chat, coffee and cake just like we do in our warm spaces. But as part of that group getting together, Pam Barber had the idea of creating these beautiful Stations of the Cross. Stations of the Cross, for those who do not know, depicts the journey that Christ took from the moment that he was sentenced to death until his actual death on the cross. As we journey around the church, following each station, we stop, pause and look at the cross and see what that story is telling us and how we make it relevant for today. And below station four and station five, we have this beautiful depiction of the Last Supper that Jesus had with his disciples, the supper where he was betrayed. I suggest that if you have time, that you come in and you have a look at our stations. I've only shown you one so far, and then the one above, that is number five, Simon of Cyrene, who helped Jesus to carry his cross. And that is next to the beautiful flag depicting the Blessed Virgin Mary and Jesus as a child, which belongs to the Mother's Union. So we have all these beautiful handcrafted pieces of work here in St. Paul's. And it would be wonderful if at some point you could come and join us to follow around each station, even if it was something that you wished to do on your own. We're open on a Monday for a warm space. So why don't you pop in, have a coffee and a chat with the people that are here. And also while you are here, come and have a look at these beautiful handworked stations of the cross. We now have number two and number three. That's just a taster of what you can see when you come here. So do come, do take time to have a look and to think about the history as well that these women have left behind for us that lovingly handcrafted these works of art. I love social history and I love to think of the people that worshipped here. What would they think now if they came back to see what St Paul's looked like? And would they still be proud of the work that they had done here in this beautiful place that enables us now to continue the journey with Christ to his cross? So please do take time to come, to come and just sit in the stillness and the peace of this beautiful place. And if you would like to join us for Stations of the Cross here in St Paul's, then please do so. Please come on a Sunday evening. It isn't this Sunday. This Sunday, Stations of the Cross are happening at our daughter church, St Mary's. But the following Sunday, it will be here. And I'll leave you with the final one, or one. Number 10, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. And then we move on to Jesus is nailed to the cross. And as Jesus is nailed to the cross, Let's just think, what does that mean for each and every one of us? That Jesus was nailed to that cross and died for us. Until next time, I wish you a reflective Lent. And I hope that you will one day come and join us, especially if you were one of the ladies that took time to make these unusual but beautiful Stations of the Cross.